How about the big easy, Ernie Els? Els playing his second into the eighth. Yeah, beautiful tee shot down the left hand side. A great look at the whole location, and Ernie goes flag hunting. Wonderful swing. Ernie on the range this morning went for a new glove, and they had accidentally given him medium gloves, and he doesn't have a medium sized hand, so I think somebody got some free gloves, but he found some other ones and hit a perfect drive here. Beautiful tee shot by Ernie. That L's second at 11. 125, and is he gonna hit this past the hole after watching those two? Does he think maybe there's not as much wind as they're anticipating? Well, he gave it a pretty pretty full treatment. He doesn't get to the flag, but it's releases down the slope. He's now left himself a really nice look right up the slope. That's a great look here for Ernie Yells just up the slope. Yeah, easy little putt there, Lanny. Miguel had already tapped his in for bogey, and that's a great birdie for Ernie. Yeah, Ernie is long, but I don't think he's got enough to carry the bunkers. Nah, doesn't have to worry about it. He gets that down slope, too. 35 feet at least left of the flag. And did he cut it? Not enough. Just but, straight. Yeah, but safe. And comes up a little short. That's not going to be the easiest play in the world from there. He's got a lot of fairway to go through if he elects to putt that from there. That's what he did. And it just if it releases, it's a great play. It does. And that's beautiful. Really, really well done. Well thought out and well executed there by Ernie Els. Back in his stance, he picks out a place to land it, drives it in there. You can be aggressive playing that kind of shot. He does, gets the hop he was looking for. Now it's in trickle mode, and that's really well done. Left center of the fairway to avoid all those overhanging trees. Wow, this looks like it's hit well, but going right, what I said not to do. Right center of the fairway, right edge of the fairway. Yeah, kind of a cut. To me, that wouldn't be Ernie's longest tee shot. Yeah, that would be more of a straight one, but... At 484 yards. I'm betting he's trying to put it somewhere near where Miguel's is. That's where it was headed. That's about right. He gets it just on. He actually almost on the edge going back down. Ernie left it in a great spot just off the right front. That was exactly the kind of shot I was expecting him to play. Now, if it just runs out, really well done. Great touch. I mean, Ernie's short game is very tidy. Always has been. So, Els is going to have that short birdie putt to get to nine under and take the outright lead. Ernie Els, a clean scorecard. Ernie can move it left to right. Let's see if he likes to do that. Oh, he does. Just going to drift it, drip it right. Oh, all <laughs> over it, too. It just needs a little bit more. Uh, there were just a couple gentlemen walking down talking. Not oh, much he buried it. There you go. Yes. Great putt by Ernie. Not surprised, man. I tell you what, I love the way he's rolling the ball, Bob. This is, this is like a whole brand new Ernie L's. You know, that fairway does pinch in a lot where he's going to drive it. Oh, he pulled it. Double cross. Let's see if he gets a good bounce. Oh, it worked out okay. Fair bounce. It, it was. It worked out better than the tracer showed. Put it that way. Just want to keep it out to the right at all costs. Penalty area left, and this is well. This is right. Quite a bit right. Yeah, probably right at the bunker. He doesn't really want that over there. That's going to be a really tough pitch. Ooh, just got a little better because he got back in the fairway. He can get his hand on it, but. Coming over that bunker to a down slope. Yeah, just trying after that practice motion. You can tell he's just trying to slip under this in a little low checker. Put it out for a little bit of a break, and it didn't break really. Yeah, that's that's, that's uh, just average for him. That's not definitely not his best. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Ernie. The big man with the putter working. So Ernie Els with a 66 today. 
Oh, he gets a little Miguel. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ernie. So he's at 10 under. He's like, take that, Miguel. <laughs> a round like today, what went right with your game and what went right with this golf course to put you in this position? Yeah, I mean, I, it's all about managing your game, managing your game to a golf course. Um, I've played here quite a few times now, and I, I enjoy it. Today it was a little softer, so I felt that uh, if you're on your game, you can really get aggressive with your iron shots. Um, so I kind of, you know, did that. You know, I, I felt like I didn't hit too many very close shots, but I made some good putts, and on the par fives, I got the ball up and down for birdie. So uh, it was a good day. You're looking for your first major on PGA Tour Champions. You're in great position. Your game looks like it's firing on all cylinders. What do you work on the rest of the day to kind of maintain throughout the weekend? Well, it's a pretty nice walk out there, as you felt this yeah. morning, you know, for us old guys. Not, not you, you're still a youngster. But then, um, no, I'll, I'll do my thing. I'll, you know, I've got new uh, shafts in my irons, you know, that I put in last week. So I'm getting kind of used to that. So I'll hit a couple of shots and just, you know, kind of you know, keep it ticking over. Um, and then get back and then relax and get get going for tomorrow. All right. Well, good luck this weekend and play good. See ya.